welcome back to my channel on today's video I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on a mani that I'm doing in collaboration with April with Sparkle um, the theme that we chose is roses and as you guys know roses are my favorite so I'm very excited about this um, I'm gonna leave all her information on the description box so you guys can go subscribe to her channel. She does some amazing work. She does a bunch of swatches, on plates, nail polish. Well, she's just a great YouTuber. Nail art YouTuber. <laughs> Alright, so I already have my base. And for this, I use my um, El Corazon. Okay, this is the one I use. And this is number 80. It's like a minty green. Um, okay, so this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this. This is a stamping polish. And I'm going to be using this Born Pretty Store. I'm going to use these two to color in my roses. Because I'm going to be doing some reverse stamping. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. I already made a couple. But I'm going to make one with you guys so you guys can see how I did this. And this is a design that I'm going to be putting on my nails. Okay. So, uh, what else? Um, I used some of this glitter to put on the rose before the gold. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Um, this is a Wet and Shine. Wet and Wild Wild Shine. I get this from Dollar Tree. And this is the one, the one that I use for the decals to put on top of them. Um, what else I'm going to be using? I'm going to be using my Moon Nails Stamping Polish Black. And let me show you guys which plate I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using um, C Joy plate. I'm going to use this image right here. I'm probably going to use this part right here. Okay. And the plate with the roses um, is this one right here. It's the BPL 030. 043 and this is the image that I'm going to be using right here all right so let me pick up this image right here so I can show you guys what I'm doing Just gonna clean up this right here. Alright, so okay, so this is where I'm gonna use the glitter one, and this is the wet and wild wall shine. Uh, I don't know, I could barely see, I can't see the name. And basically what I'm doing with this, I'm just going to put some of this sparkle right here. Alright, so we're done with that. And then I'm going to be using this. This is a gold. And for this I just need a brush. And while that's drawing um, the sparkly polish is drying I'm gonna start doing using the green to do all the little leaves on the design And if you're wondering why I'm doing it this way, grabbing the polish straight from the bottom instead of putting it uh, on my mat, the reason why I do that is because I don't like wasting my stamping polish. <laughs> 
So I'd rather do it this way. But if you guys like to putting your polish on the mat, I mean, it's up to you guys. I just feel like I don't want to waste my stamping polish since I'm using stamping polish. I think I'm done with that. Now I just need to do the roses and gold. And the reason why I also like doing um, coloring with the stamping polishes because they're very opaque. So that means you just need to do it one, once and you don't have to put like extra coat to cover or anything or put white in the back. Um, that's the reason why I like using the stamping polish. Okay, so we're done with this. And let me show you guys how it looks. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on the side and let it dry. While that's drying, I'm going to be using this part of this image right here. And I'm going to do that part in gold. Let's see. And I'm just going to put it on the pinky. Okay. And I'm just going to top coat. And I'm going to use the same in image again. Uh, Alright. So it looked like the polish dry before I stamp it on my nail. So I'm going to have to fix this, um, since I already had some top coat on my nails, I'm going to use the brush and try to remove it without damaging. Anything, let's see. Alright, so I'm going to have to put another coat of polish because I, I don't want to mess up my whole thing. So I'm just going to cover it up. Usually if I'm using Mundo de Uñas, I just grab a piece of tape. Even Moon Nails sometimes works, depends. Um, you grab a piece of tape and you just, um, with the tape you remove the stamping polish. Okay, while well, th that's drying, um, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, I don't know if it's been too long, but I'm going to try to stick them to my nails, see if they stick. Okay, you just got to press hard. I think I waited too long. All right, let's try it again. No, it's not gonna do it. It's already, it's already dry. 
but that's okay. There's two ways to do this, and this is the part where I'm just going to put some of this wet and wild clear, and this is going to help the decal stick to your nail. My fan and my AC are on, so I drive faster because of that. Alright, but still soft enough to stick very nicely to the nail. So, I'm just going to cut this right here. Now I'm just going to use some acetone to melt whatever's sticking out of the nail. And the acetone will make you, will help you, um, will help the decal stick to your, to your nail better. Alright, so I'm going to try again, see if it sticks to the nail. If not, I'm going to have to do the same thing I did with this one, with the first one. And this one actually worked. Alright, well that's, that's good. So, same thing. I'm going to use that acetone. Now I'm just going to top coat. put some top coat on this one and then I have one more for this now let's give it a try see if it sticks to the nail if not I'm gonna have to put some of that clear polish oh it worked so I'm going to do the same thing here. Alright, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more, make sure it's already evenly. It's flattening your nail, once, you're, once it's flat and where you want it, you just add your top coat. Now add another coat of top coat on this one. Oh, 
Okay. I think this one is ready to stamp. So we're going to give it another try. And I'm going to turn off my fan. I don't want my fan to dry my Im um, the image before I place it on my nail. this little brush that I have because I don't like how this looks so I'm just gonna try to fix it that's good enough that looks a little bit better I'm just going to top coat. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean the cuticles. And I'm going to put some, wash my hands, put some oil, and I'll be right back. Right, everyone, so I'm done cleaning. I wash my hands, and I put some cuticle oil around. And this is the final result of the Manny. Um, I really like it. I just kind of mess up right there, but you know, it's not so bad. Kind of fix it with a little brush. Um, and the reason was because I had my AC and my fan <laughs> on, <laughs> even though I turned off my fan, this AC was still on, and sometimes you have those problems. Um, but overall, I really like it. Um, I was very happy making this many because you know this is my first time I do a a video of a of a collab with someone and April's always doing collaboration so she's an expert on that but I'm not <laughs> um other other than that I had tons of fun I I hope we can do this again April and um um I hope you guys like it so I'm gonna leave all her information for you guys I'm gonna put some pictures at the end of the video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye